Hello guys, welcome back to the session. Today we will learn about matches activity in UiPath which is used to extract data from an input string using regular expression or regex. So let's get started. So here I have a string value with me which says please find the details of new employee John. His phone number is this, his primary email ID is this, his secondary email ID is this and his joining date is 9-11-2020. So let's say that from this input string I want to extract the primary email ID and secondary email ID. So let's see how we can do this in UiPath using the matches activity and regular expression. Regular expressions are nothing but the sequence of characters which define a search pattern. And in this case, we are going to use the regular expression which is going to extract this email ID and this email ID. So first of all, in UiPath, I'm going to create a variable which is going to hold this complete string value. So let me copy this string value from here and I will create a variable here. So create a variable text of type string and let's provide a default value which we have inside the text file. Now I'm going to use the matches activity which is present inside string. So here you see under string we have multiple of actions present. I'm going to first of all use this matches activity. So let me add it here. So this matches activity takes a input string and extracts value from the input string using the regular expression which we provide here and stores the extracted value inside the result variable. So let's start to provide the values inside this matches activity. So inside input, I'm going to provide the text variable which we just created here. Next, we'll provide the regular expression pattern over here. So here you see we have the option to configure regular expression. So if you open this one, so this is the regex builder that is regular expression builder. Now here you see UiPath has already provided regular expressions, inbuilt regular expressions for these fields. For example, let's say that if I select this email, so this is the full expression. This is the complete regular expression. Now here, let me copy this one. Now here if I provide the text value, here you see this first email ID and second email ID are getting highlighted because of the regular expression email which we selected here. So we are going to leverage this regular expression for email which UiPath has already created for us but there will be times where we'll have to create our own regular expression which we will learn to build in the next session. So as of now, let's select this email regular expression. This is the full regular expression. We will learn how to build this regular expression in the next session. So let's save this one. And here you see the pattern got selected here, which we selected from this configure regular expression. So let's go with this regular expression. Now the values which gets extracted from this text variable using this regular expression will be stored inside a result variable. So right click over here and create a variable. Let's keep the name as output. So we created this output variable. Now here if you notice the variable type of this output variable which we created and this variable is a collection of matches of i enumerable type. And I enumerable exposes an enumerator which supports iterations over a collection. And since this output variable will have a collection of emails, we are extracting the primary and the secondary email. Since this output variable will have a collection of emails, so we can iterate through them to get those values. So let's see how we can do that. So we are done with the matches activity, every details we provided here. Now I'm going to use the activity for each, for each activity under control. So let me add it here 
and we are going to provide for each item in output I want to get the value of this item so we can add a message box so let me add a message box here you can also add the right line activity as well or any other activity according to your requirement so here I'm going to display the item inside the message box and here we'll have to convert it into string so for that put a dot and select to string from here so our project is ready let me quickly run this project to see how it works let's save this one and let's quickly run this and my project is running now and it displayed the first email ID inside the message box this was the primary email ID let's click on OK and similarly it displayed the second email ID inside the message box this was the secondary email ID so let's click on OK so in this way we extracted the data from this input string using the matches activity and the regular expression we provide here and we iterated through the output variable now we can also access the email IDs which gets extracted with an index with the output variable. So let me show you how we can do that. So for that, first of all, I'm going to comment out the for each activity. So let me add this comment activity and we'll put this for each under the ignored one. With this comment out, this activity will not be executed during the runtime. It is very helpful during the debug purpose. So let me collapse this one and here I'm going to add a message box. So let me add it here. And as I said, we can get the values of email by adding index with this output variable. So let me provide a message here. So I'm going to provide the message as primary email ID is and I will put a plus sign then I'm going to provide this output variable and uh, we'll have to provide the index so I'm going to provide here the index as 0 which extracts the first value present inside this output variable then we'll put a dot and we'll provide the value here so this expression is going to fetch the first email ID present inside this output variable now I'm going to add one more message box and in this message box we will fetch the value of second email ID. So I'm going to write here secondary email ID is and again I will put a plus sign and then we'll select this output variable. This time I'm going to provide the index as zero which is used to fetch the value at the second position in the output variable. Then again put a dot and uh, take this value. This is expression is going to provide the second value present inside this output variable. Now if you want to know the count how many values are present inside this output variable that we are, that we are going to use another message box and here I'm going to use this output variable. So let me add this output variable and put a dot and select this count from here. Next we'll have to convert it into string as well. So put a dot and select this to string function. So this expression is ready. This expression is going to provide the number of values present inside this output variable. And at the beginning I'm going to write number of values in output variable is and let's connect this one by a plus sign so our project is ready now first of all it's going to extract the data from this input text va text variable using this regular expression and the result will be stored inside this output variable then we use three message box. First message box will display the first value present inside the output variable. The next message box is going to display the second value present inside the output variable. And the third message box is going to display the number of total values present inside the output variable. So let me quickly run this project to see how it works. And my project is running now. 
and here it displayed the first message as primary email is john.smith at gmail.com then it displayed the second message as secondary email is smith.john at yahoo.com these were the two email ids present inside the text which we selected let's click on ok and then it displayed the number of values in the output variable as two since we had two email IDs present inside the output variable, so accordingly it displayed the number of count as two. So let's click on OK. So that's all for this session. In this session, we used matches activity with the regular expression, the inbuilt regular expressions present inside the UI path. In the next session, we are going to learn how we can create our own regular expressions, which will be required in many scenarios. And I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, give it a like and share with your friends. Hit the bell button to get the updates on the latest videos. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel as well. And I will see you soon in the next one. Bye-bye.